Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Brenna and today's video is all about my favorite Scandinavian baby names. So if that sounds interesting to you, stick around for today's video. This is a baby name help and I post new themed baby name lists every Monday and Thursday to inspire you. So if you are looking to name a baby or you just love names like I do, then you are in the right place. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any of my new videos. It really helps me out and it's free for you to do, so I would greatly appreciate that. With all of that said, let's just go ahead and get started for today. For those of you that are not familiar, the term Scandinavia traditionally refers to the countries of Denmark, Poland, and Sweden. So all of these names on today's list have origins in those countries and ties to those countries. I will be alternating between a boy's name and a girl's name throughout today's video and I'll let you know the rankings and some of my thoughts. So we're going to start off with the boy's name Bowden, B-O-D-E-N. This name ranks 827 in the boys chart and it is traditionally a last name. So it hits on my favorite trend of all, which is last names as first names. It could be used as a possible alternative to similar names, Bodie, Bowen, or Bowie. It fits into the classic structure of two syllable boys names ending in N, like Warren or Mason. So it strikes a great balance between this classic familiar structure, but also not being super common since it is ranked a bit lower in the chart. For girls, the first name I have is the name Mira, M-I-R-A. Ranking 484, this name has various origins and meanings, including ocean, peace, and female ruler, all of which are pretty cool, honestly. It also translates to look in Spanish. This name is almost like a reversal or a flip-flop of the vowel sounds in the age-old classic Mary. And it can be used as a shorter form for names like Miranda or Miriam, but I think I prefer Mira all on its own. The most popular name on today's list is the boy's name Oliver, O-L-I-V-E-R, ranking number three. This name does come from the olive tree, which is a symbol of peace and forgiveness. If you are a name nerd like I am, then you probably know that the name Oliver has been well loved for many years now, as has the girl's name Olivia coming from the same root. These have both been very high in the charts for several years. With the name Oliver being so mainstream, I think it could pair really well with a more edgy, daring, unique middle name maybe. So something like an Oliver Fox or Oliver Truitt could be really cool. So if you love a daring name, but you also love to balance it with something more traditional, more mainstream right now, then I think Oliver could really hit both of those for you. Next up is the girl's name Sonia, spelled S-O-N-I-A. This is an unranked name that comes from the name Sophia, meaning wisdom. There are several alternative spellings to the name Sonia, so it can end Y-A or even J-A. This name has actually been in the top 1000 before from 1909 all the way to 2017. So it just recently dropped off the chart and it could be a unique option for you if you like the sound. The next boy's name I have for you is the name Callum, C-A-L-L-U-M, ranking 273. This name means dove, which is considered a sign of peace, freedom, and love, which is just so beautiful. This is a name that has been steadily climbing in the chart ever since it debuted in the top 1000 back in 2008. I love the softer U-M ending sound, which is very similar to other popular names like Liam or William. This could also be considered a possible alternative to the name Colin, if that's a little too popular for you, but you do like the sound of it. The next girl's name is unranked, and that is the name Nessa, N-E-S-S-A. -S it's akin to a Tessa or Vanessa. In fact, it could be used as a nickname for the name Vanessa, but it's also a name all on its own. 
This is a character name that I first heard in the Broadway musical Wicked. I think the only possible drawback is that some people call the Loch Ness Monster Nessie, which is very similar, but I think the beauty of Nessa would overtake that for me. And as it is, I don't think that's necessarily a strong association for all that too many people. I mean, I definitely don't think of that when I hear the name Nessa immediately. And I've always been a proponent of not letting, you know, smaller associations or what one person thinks deter you from using a name you really love. This next name is one you have definitely heard if you've seen several of my videos on this channel, and that is the name Anders, A-N-D-E-R-S, which is the Scandinavian variation of the name Andrew, meaning strong. So if you want to honor an Andrew in your life, or you just want to modernize the name Andrew, then Anders is a really great one. Anders is ranked 884, but its related name, Anderson, has been really going up in the charts for the last 20 years. So the name Anders could see some success soon. I'm not sure. We'll have to wait and see. And one other thing that I've learned in my time researching Anders before it's very odd, but I thought, thought it was interesting, is that in Denmark, in Scandinavia, in Denmark, Donald Duck is actually called Anders. So I just thought that was really unique and thought I would share that with you all. The rest of the names I have for you today are all unranked, so they're all outside of the top 1,000 most popular names. The first one is the girl's name Vivica, V-I-V-I-C-A. How beautiful is that? Vivica. We are loving V letters, V names, especially in the girls chart. I think it's probably a little more popular and well used right now in the girls chart than the boys. And Vivica has two of them. We're seeing success for names like Vivian and Vera. So why not try out Vivica? This name has a sort of edgy liveliness to it as it does mean life or place of refuge. There have been a few actresses and celebrities that have brought this name into the spotlight, but I think that Vivica is just such a gorgeous option. It is so stunning and I really want to hear it more. The next one I have for you is the boy's name Tyrell, T-Y-R-E-L-L. -L. This could be an attractive alternative to the name Tyler, which was a top 100 name until just a few years ago. So there seem to be a lot of Tylers around, but definitely not many Tyrells. I mentioned in a recent video that I really love E-L sounds in boys' names whether it's at the beginning, middle, or end. And Tyrell is a perfect example of how nice the EL sound can be at the end of a boy's name. I think this is a hugely underused name that could fit the bill for a lot of people. The next girl's name is Kirsten, K-I-E-R-S-T-E-N. And I think this is near the top of the list of names that is likely to be mispronounced, but it's just so gorgeous. And it's likely to be mispronounced just because people are familiar with a lot of similar names with similar letters like Kristen or Kirsten. This name did have a stint in the charts between 1988 and 2011, and it even peaked at spot 424, but it seems to have fallen out of favor. It's fallen out of the chart as has Kristen and Kirsten, and I couldn't quite figure out why. I didn't find any controversy about someone with this name, but I think perhaps it is just because it's likely to be mispronounced. All of these sort of get mixed all together and maybe the name just isn't said as it's supposed to be. But if you all have any idea why these three names, this family of names, is all unranked in the charts, please let me know in the comments down below. I love figuring out stuff like that, like why names have disappeared for some reason. The last two names I have for you today are both boys' names. I found just a couple more boys' names than I did girls' names that I really loved, so I wanted to make sure to include them here at the end. The first one is the name Espen, E-S-P-E-N, which means God Bear. It's obviously very reminiscent of the name Aspen, which we tend to see more for girls, but either way, that's not a Scandinavian name, so 
that's not important, but the name Espen is a Scandinavian name. I also think this could be a really great middle name option if perhaps it's a little too unique for you to use as a first name or you're concerned about mispronunciations if you use it as a first name. I think it could balance a traditional name, so something like Timothy Espen I think works, or even a more modern contender like Maverick Espen. So I think Espen is very versatile and it can pair well with a lot of different names. The last name on today's list is traditionally a last name, and that is the name Larsen, L-A-R-S-E-N, which is a variation of the Scandinavian classic Lars, L-A-R-S. While we have seen S-O-N ending boys' names in the chart for quite a while now, we're now starting to see S-E-N names as well, like Jensen and Kaysen make their way up in the rankings. So Larson definitely fits into that family of names and might start making its way into the chart. So that is all I have for you today. Please let me know your favorite names down in the comments section below and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't so you don't miss any of my new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.